we all know data can be stored in snowflake tables but snowflake also provides unnamed stages where you can store data files like csv or a parquet one of the such unnamed stage or storage area is called user stage except particular user nobody else can access user stage location not even account admin what if you have data files lying in your user stage and you want to analyze them from snowpark how will you create data frames from that data file for your analysis and that's what we are going to see in this short video it's all hands on exercise and yes if you don't know about unnamed stages or named stages please watch chapter 8 from my snowflake tutorial we will also review how the data frame operations get translated into query history and how the lazy evaluation works in snowpark welcome back to my channel data engineering simplified and to this snowpark hands on playlist let's jump into our vs code editor where i'm using python 3.8.16 and snowpark library is also installed to load the data to user stage i will use snow sql here i am in my user stage read.py file this is my import statement where i am importing session and the line number 3 is also importing struct type struct field and string type if you are coming from a pyspark background they look very similar this is my connection parameter if you have seen my past video this looks slightly different here i am passing additional keys role database and schema if your user is already having a default role database and schema then you can skip this parameter else you can have this parameter i am creating a session and establishing a connection with snowflake next we are going to go to snow sql and upload a customer file and see how this customer file looks like using a list command so i have a customer 01.csv available in a temp location and using this put command through my snow sql cli i am placing them in my user stage i am running 10 parallel threads and auto compress equals to false if you have not watched my entire playlist on loading data i would request you to go and get a deep understanding about data loading in snowflake now my data got uploaded i am here in my snow site web ui and this is my demo3 user let's go and quickly list the file which we just uploaded i can see i have a file of roughly 16 mb now my file is available in my user stage location next step i am going to define a schema and since it is a csv file i need to make sure that i defined a schema object and for that i am using different kind of data type like struct type struct type encapsulate struct field and each of the field will have a data type followed by the name of the field very similar to the ddl statement in our sql if you are aware about the structure of the csv file accordingly you can define the schema by taking a string data type integer data type flow data type or any other data type once this is done i will call the read method then i will pass the schema using schema function and i will give some optional field where i am passing delimiter is comma and skipping the header and then finally reading this customer 01.csv file okay once it is done i am going to read first 10 rows and then finally closing my session so this is how i can read the data from my user stage let's run this program So now I am able to see that my user stage data got translated into data frame. If you would like to understand what's happening behind the scene, then you can write customer dot explain function, and it will explain what it has done behind the scene. So let me run this once again. so it will explain the query which which has been executed through the data frame execution plan here first it has created a temporary file format and then it has used the file format to run the query on the user stage okay uh, let's go back to our query history so when you come to query history you can see my client driver is python snowpark 1.3.0 it means all those queries are being executed through the snowpark and all those data frame operations are eventually converted into a sql query and when we call this action those data frame operations are converted into equivalent sql and being executed if you have a large file and if you do not know how to analyze the large file let's say you cannot create a table in your snowflake instance let's say you cannot create a named stages still you can analyze the data for that you can load the data into user stage you can use snowpark api 
get the data frame and complete your transformation job. Refer the description section to download the source code used in this tutorial as well as cheat sheet. If you have any specific questions, queries or doubt, please drop me a note in the description section or in my Instagram account. Thank you. Happy learning and keep growing.